Do you have a past life? I would say yes. Everybody has a past life. Although Dorothy Cannon in her books did find some people who were here for the first time. I suppose there are a few of them. Well, let's say you want to know if you had a past life, or you want to know, how do I find out if I had a past life? Some people remember their past lives without even trying. One place you might look is your dreams. If you find yourself having dreams where you're a different person, in very different circumstances, and none of the people in your dream or any of the people in your life, you may actually be remembering a past life in your dream. You know, let's say in this life you're a middle-aged man who's got um, light brown skin and um, blonde hair, but in your dream you're a 10-year-old um, Kenyan girl and your entire family is Kenyan and you're living in Kenya and everything about it is unfamiliar to you. Um, you've never been to Kenya, you never read any books on Kenya, and yet in the dream you're really intimately immersed into Kenyan culture and you're a part of it. And that could be a clue that it's a past life. Another clue is um, so unfamiliar, you're having completely unfamiliar people and people that you do not know in your dreams. Another clue is that you are dreaming about the mundane details of a life. You know, dreams that are meant to help us work out our problems are usually fantastic, you know, and they have a lot of drama in them. Maybe they're, you know, our wishes come true or our worst fears in the form of nightmares. But we don't usually dream about the mundane. When you have a dream that just has the mundane in it, like a typical day in this young American's life or this young Indian's life and there's nothing exciting happening there's no drama no one dies nobody you know gets married nobody you know falls ill there's no drama it's just like the routine of a day getting up brushing your teeth making your breakfast greeting your neighbor um, going to the fields and working the crops coming home eating your lunch going back to the fields, coming home, greeting your family, washing the clothes, right? A very mundane dream that just is a day in the life. That could be a day in the life in one of your past lives. A third thing to look for is a repeat. So if you have several different dreams of that same character living that same life, but all of the dreams are equally mundane, they're different days. You know, one day is the day you go to market, and one day is the day you're in the fields farming, and the next day is the day that you're feeding the baby, you know? But it's the same people, same location, different days, equally mundane, nothing dramatic, no giant insights. It's not related to what you're going through in your current life. It's probably a past life. Now, a more direct route to figuring out if you have a past life is to go to a hypnotherapist and be regressed. Uh, one really famous regressionist is Brian Weiss, who's written, written a number of books about it. Another famous regressionist is Dorothy Cannon. She's also written a lot of books. So you could find someone. You, know, you want to find someone who's reputable, who's maybe referred to you by someone else, or who has some kind of reviews out there that you could read, or people you could talk to who have seen them. And you could go to them and say, hey, I want to be regressed to a past life. The best way to regress yourself, to get regressed to a past life, is to have a specific question. If you're just going for curiosity's sake, oh, I just wonder what my past life is, that's not really a good reason, it's not really a good enough reason to remember your past life. But if you have a pointed question, like, you know, I've always been afraid of flying in this life, I wonder if there's a reason for that in a past life. Let's do a regression and find out. Or, you know, I... Um, I have this really conflictual relationship with my partner, but I feel that I have to absolutely have to stay with this person. Why is that? Let's go do a past life on it. It might be that you have a contract, a sole contract with that person. You have a past life with that person that's influencing your current life with that person. That would be a good reason to do a regression. But having a really specific question 
and a strong motive that's about this life is the best way to do a regression. Because what I've experienced, what I've been told, is that you're unlikely to be allowed to remember past lives that just bear no relevance to this life. So you were a um, oppressive dictator in a past life in you know, a particular country. Is that related to this life today? Are you an oppressive person now? Do you mistreat your employees? Are you an oppressive partner? Are you an oppressive parent? Well, yes. If, if it's carried over into this life, then regressing to that life would be useful for you and it might give you some insights. But if you're just regressing because, oh, I want to know if I was famous. Uh, we weren't famous, most of us. Very, think about it. Very few people are famous. So chances are in your past lives you weren't famous either. Um, so that's not really a good reason to regress. But, you know, trying to find insights for this life from past lives, that's a very good reason to do a past life regression. You might find that it really can change your life.